Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, I'm going to say a few words, and then we'll turn the time over to Chief Brown, um, followed by Mark Wheatley, um, then Aiden Batar, um, Marina Lowe, Kathy Barca. Did I say that right? Yes. Thank you. And then Marlene Gonzalez. So uh, thank you, though, everyone, for showing up today. Uh, this is an important day for us. Um, confusion is no way to govern, and fear is certainly no way to police. In cities and communities across the nation, including Salt Lake City, President Donald Trump's executive order on immigration has created both fear and confusion. Many local leaders and police chiefs have been left wondering what the executive order even means for our communities. Worse, many in our immigrant, refugee, and multicultural populations are in fear for themselves and their loved ones. While we spend time working through this executive order and what it means for Salt Lake City, I want to be clear on our fundamental beliefs and values and where we operate from today. Salt Lake City is a welcoming community and our police department is an agency charged with protecting the residents of this city. Our police department is not enforcing federal immigration policy. Salt Lake City Police Department has a long-standing practice against officers inquiring about the immigration status of those they come in contact with on a day-to-day -day basis. This practice is central to our community policing model and will remain unchanged. We do not currently have, nor do we want to enter into any agreement with the federal government which deputizes or authorizes our officers to perform the function of immigration officers. <clears throat> In order to prevent, prevent crime, our police officers must build trust in the communities they serve, injecting the fear of deportation into the relationship between local law enforcement and the immigrant communities will have tragic results. Unreported crimes like domestic violence, children staying home from school, and the criminal exploitation of vulnerable people. Salt Lake City will continue to cooperate with our county, state, and federal partners to root out any criminal element which operates in our city. Our effectiveness in this effort is stronger because of our values and our current practices, and they must and will continue. Our national leaders should focus on immigration reform, which charts a path forward for those individuals who already are enriching our communities. Our national leaders should be helping us build bridges, not walls. They should help us improve our local communities, not ask us to divide them. At this time of confusion, I urge all Salt Lake City residents to come together with a simple and clear message. You are and you always will be safe and welcome in Salt Lake City. <clears throat>